Hi, welcome back to Indigo Smokes Tarot and Astrology. I am doing a tarot or a spiritual reading for um, just to see whatever comes up for September 2020. I already did the astrology for it, so I just want to, you know, see if any extra guidance, you know, comes out for the month of September. Um, I'm using about one, two, three, four, five, six, six different oracle decks plus tarot cards to clarify. And we're just going to see what comes out. I don't particularly have. Um, um, a certain message. I just want to see what comes up. So I haven't, I feel like I haven't done a tarot reading for the channel in like a hot minute. So it's long overdue. Um, yeah, and let's just get started. I'm starting off with the Black Moon Astrology cards. I've already cleansed everything, cleared over everything, cleared the energy. So we're all good to go. Normally I do not shuffle on camera, but I figured let's just do something a little different. Um, if the cards don't fall out how I want them to, I'll just pick a card. So, all right, Divine Ancestors and Spirit Guides of the Collective. Divine Ancestors and Spirit Guides of the Collective. What do we as the Collective need to know for September 2020? Whatever information comes out is divinely guided. So it is a shame. What messages and insights and energies do we need to be aware of for September 2020 as the collective? What information do we need to know? What information does the collective need to know for September 2020? Don't be spitting out a whole bunch of cards. I want one card because <laughs> I'm working with six decks. I only need one card from each. Oh, excuse me, you told me. Okay. So we got that one. Put this over here. And it's a 12 Black Moon Lilith mystery. Uh, Lilith energy is all about like what's hidden. Uh, it's a certain level of rebellion or feeling rejected, going against the norm. So. Who knows? Maybe people will be embracing their, their inner Lilith or maybe, um, you know, there's going to be some secret surfacing that would coincide with uh, what I said for the astrology of September, you know, the full moon in Pisces as well as the sun opposing Neptune, you know, that could definitely be secrets energy, but let's just keep pulling. Alright, this is, I forget, these are two different oracles mixed together, I forget the names of them. I think one is the Wisdom Oracle and the other is Psychic Tarot. Alright, Divine Ancestors, Spirit Guides of the Collective. Can we get some more information and insight for the energies that we need to be aware of for September 20 as a collective? As a collective, what information, insights, and energies do we need to be aware of for September 20? I mean, yeah, September 2020. Truth, like I said information coming out truth this is actually the um the judgment tarot card okay i think that's pluto energy pluto brings um it can bring a certain level of chaos or a certain level of destruction but it forces you to deal with things that have been hidden beneath the surface so bottom of the deck mental conflict two of swords you know um feeling stuck feeling torn feel like maybe things have moved to a stalemate okay I'm going to clarify all these, so don't worry. I'm just um, kind of giving information as I go so that I'm not spending a whole bunch of time just shuffling and being quiet. All right, this is the Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. Okay, it's a very pretty deck. Divine Ancestors and Spirit Guides of the Collective. Divine Ancestors and Spirit Guides of the Collective. What insights, energy, and information do we as the collective need to know for September 2020? Can I just get one card? There we go. Portal. Doors are opening. You decide. Wild card. Okay, so it's not bad energy. I like it bottom of the deck jump in adventure say yes to change pluto judgment brings change or resurrection going in a new direction truths um secrets maybe being uncovered let me just put this back over here 
I may read what this card actually means from the deck because I like reading um, the actual meanings of the cards, but I'm going to interpret them my own way first. Alright, this is the Energy Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. I'll probably um, put the new decks that I've gotten down in the description box so that you can go and purchase them if you like them. <clears throat> For this particular deck, I'm going to do some reversal. So all of these are in the upright, so I'm going to take half of it and reverse it. That way there's an even mix of upright and reverse cards. I feel like it adds depth to the reading. So um, Divine Ancestors and Spirit Guides of the Collective, what information, energies, and insights do we as the Collective need to know for September 2020? and energies, insights that you need to be aware of for September 2020 as the collective. Broken heart in reverse, that's good. <laughs> so maybe this won't correlate with rejection after all, you know, and if so, this is like um, most likely a getting over of past hurts, past rejections, you know, once again, a rebirth, a resurrection, moving forward from the things that have maybe held us back or um, being transformed by the things that have happened to us in the past and using that energy to propel us forward. Mm. See, see, see. All right, got that one. And then I have two more, and then we'll get into clarifiers. This is the Archangel Michael deck. I typically keep this one in the upright. So, Archangel Michael, Divine Answers, and Spirit Guides of the Collective. Any further um, insights or advice? for the collective for September 2020. Oh, what is that? Go forward fearlessly. And last oracle. This is the Law of Attraction Island Time Wellness deck. I really like this deck. It's There's no need to interpret anything. It just tells you exactly what it is. Angel Michael, Divine Answers, and Spirit Guides of the Collective. Any insights or guidance for the Collective for September 2020? Anything we need to focus on? Anything we need to know? Okay, I like it. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process. Acknowledge your progress. I'm going to get three of these cards because I see these as more of uh, advice cards. So, can I get two more cards for the collective guidance for September 2020? There we go. Daily habits, self-care. Healthy choices, subliminals, creating routines that are going to um, act as baby steps to what it is that you're working towards. Can I get one more card for guidance? For the collective. Growing success, abundance, generosity, be excited, stay on path, manifesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -mm -mm. Bottom of the deck is negativity, distorted view, wounds, complaining, negative self-talk, self-sabotage. Outside influences, be gracious. So once again, moving on from any kind of negative experiences that have been holding us back, allowing them to transform us and move forward into a rebirth or resurrection, a more evolved version of ourselves. Letting go of negative self-talk, negative emotions that are holding us back, negative past experiences, um, altering our perceptions, you know, um, not letting outside influences control our energy, you know, governing self, self-regulating. So that is that. Alright. 
overall I like these. These are mostly like pretty um, positive cards. Um, let me see what else do I get from these. Like I said, this month, uh, I said this in the, the astrology video, this month on, I think the 22nd, we go into um, Libra season, that's the equinox, autumn. Um, anytime that equinox is happening, that means that the veils are thin, okay? The energy is shifting, so it's a good time to um, connect with ancestors it's a good time to manifest it's a good time to really get clear on what it is that you want it's a portal of sorts okay um but it's a wild card you know whatever it is you're giving your energy to if you're if you're in a lot of um negative self-talk negative emotions if you're not you know really trying to transmute th those energies you can really get stuck in them and that's why you know wild card is here it's like it can go either way you know there there's an opportunity for you to be propelled forward but you have to take it or you know you'll have this pluto energy come along or this lilith energy come along and it'll force you to evolve so typically when it comes to spiritual evolution when it comes to taking the next steps you want to do it yourself on your own terms because when pluto energy comes along when cosmos um uh, astrological alignments come along and force you it's not as pleasant as if you do it on your own terms um self-healing is a very very strong thing here really needing to release past hurts past pains past rejections um so that you can move forward fearlessly without you know being haunted by your past um da -da 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 -da. Let's clarify a few of these. Growing success, really just being focused on manifesting um, abundance, manifesting stability, um, manifesting maybe if you know you're wanting a lifestyle change, manifesting that. You know, focusing on the details like maybe scripting. Maybe you want to write out what it is that you want. Maybe you want to visualize. Maybe you want to create a vision board. Maybe you want to listen to subliminals. Whatever it is, is creating those habits that are going to, in the long run, get you exactly where you're wanting to go. All right, I'm going to actually hold on because these cards are in the way. I'm going to move the advice cards up here so that I can shuffle without the without them flopping around. I'm going to do the same thing with the other deck. I'm going to take half of this and reverse it. That way there's an even amount of upright and reversals. hoping that the seven of swords does not come out because it keeps showing <laughs> but it may like i said the truth card is here there's a lot of um cards here indicating truth or secrets coming to the light or being forced to deal with you know your shadow self or the shadow self of other people so all right can we please clarify the black moon lilith card for september 2020 divine ancestors and spirit guides of the collective please clarify black moon lilith Clarity, sobering up, seeing things clearly, very clearly. With the reverse seven of cups here, normally it's talking about daydreams, fantasies, being in la-la land, um, pie in the sky, or, you know, being. I don't see this as being overwhelmed by options. I really see this as, like, no longer being stuck in la-la land, fantasy world, your imagination, your daydreams, and really, you know, getting sober and serious about what it is that, um, what your truth is, what you want to do, what you want to manifest, why is the Seven of Cups in reverse with Black Moon in the street? Or Black Moon Lilith? Yeah. So that you can get what it is you want, so that you can get that wish fulfillment, that emotional satisfaction. You really got to be clear on what it is that you want. And you have to get out of your head, out of your imagination, out of just dreaming about it or daydreaming about it or just being caught up in your head about it. You actually have to, you know, put forth action, okay? So that you can really get what it is you want as opposed to just dreaming. Why is the Judgment Truth card here for the Collective for September 2020? Maybe some upsetting truths, okay? This could just be um, symbolizing maybe some delays happening as far as maybe what you're involved in or some disappointments in regards to 
you know, something that is personal to you, whether that's a relationship, whether that's a project, whether that's a job, something that you're emotionally tied to, you may realize some things about it um, that could be upsetting or disappointing, okay, with this Pluto energy. Like I said, Pluto brings things to the surface that, you know, we've been avoiding or things that have been overall hidden from our view. Why is the reverse Ace of Cups here with the Judgment card for September 2020 for the collective? Yeah, it could do. It could definitely do with either major decisions, major things that you're working on being at a certain crossroads in your life, or this could be specifically talking about maybe some um, some disappointments in in regards to personal relationships. Okay, so if not, if it's not tied to um, an event or, or a project that you could be working on, this is definitely talking about some kind of um, delays or disappointments in regards to a relationship, maybe uh, resulting in some kind of separation or just experiencing some kind of tension. In your relationships okay why is portal here for the collective for September 2020 please clarify why is portal here mm, more Pluto energy Scorpio energy the death card okay so transformation um, why is the death card here with portal September 2020 for the collective. Okay, once again, I just feel like this is a, this either has to do with like, um, once again, like when I see the, the two of wands, when I see the twos, twos talk about decisions, the lovers, it talks about either relationships or major decisions, significant crossroads in your life. I feel like if this isn't talking about, you know, um, if it's not talking about a situation that you're emotionally tied to, it's talking about a specific relationship or person. And transformation coming from that via the truths being uncovered via um, you know just having experiencing certain disappointments that force you to change that force you to reroute um, and also I see this as like needing to get out of your um, I want to say your comfort zone okay when the two of wands goes into the reverse it can talk about um, maybe not properly planning not making the proper choices or holding yourself back playing it safe playing staying in your comfort zone not seeking to expand not seeking to broaden your horizon so there could be you know with the doors opening portal wild card you decide like it's like if you step out of your comfort zone if you embrace the change you could actually um get a get more rewards than what you're thinking okay so try to not try to not keep yourself in um, your comfort zone really try to step out and allow life to flow through you allow change to happen allow yourself to be transformed because it's going to be worthwhile but you're not going to get there if you're you're clinging to your comfort zone okay why is the reversed broken heart here for september 2020 why is the reverse broken heart here for the collective for september 2020 divine ancestors and spirit guides of the collective also, the first card that wanted to come out to before the before these two cards came out, um, the first card that wanted to come out to clarify this was the Queen of Wands. Okay, the Queen of Wands is very confident. She's very charming. She's very magnetic. She's all about um, going after what it is that you want. She's all about bringing her ideas and her creativity into manifestation. So that may be an energy that a lot of us need to step into. Why is the Reverse Broken Heart here for September 2020 for the Collective Divine Ancestors and Spirit? We got two cards there. Can we please clarify? Go forward fearlessly for the collective of September 2020. Why is the reverse nine of wands here with go forward fearlessly for the collective for September 2020? God damn. Okay. <laughs> bottom of the deck the sun okay this is this is clarity these are realizations okay so light being shown on once again um maybe things that we previously did not know or things that we were avoiding light being shown on them but also like i said with the rewards the the portal card there is a possibility that you could really step into a lifestyle or a path that really makes you happy that's really in alignment for you but i do see this as um clarity and a shift in consciousness okay so we have that all right so clarifying the reverse broken heart here <clears throat> we have the queen of pentacles and the strength five this is actually really good energy um the queen
Queen of Pentacles is she's very uh, materially she's very abundant she's prosperous like she's stable she's secure okay um in, in, especially in regards to home in regards to finances like she's good she's a very nurturing stable energy um she's not overly emotional like say the queen of cups um she's not overly cerebral like maybe the queen of swords she's like a, a, a good mixture of both um with the strength card here also um i see the broken heart being in the reverse as healing and getting over past hurts but also with the strength card um, there could be a certain level of emotional restraint that a lot of us will have or we will be needing to have so that once again our emotions don't throw us back and forth all over the place. Um, the strength really talks about confidence. It talks about discipline as well. You know, having the, the confidence and the discipline to do what it is that we need to do to create this long-term stability for ourselves having the strength and the discipline to nurture ourselves and to create the nurturing environment that we need to be able to prosper. Um, but strongly, I see this as self-discipline and self-confidence, especially with the Queen of Wands already showing herself. I really think that's what this is. Let me see what else do I get from this. Having control over, once again, having control over our lower nature. Okay, because the strength card it deals with um, in the original depiction. And you can actually kind of see it here. She's trying to, um, she's trying to basically, I don't want to say control, but she's trying to tame and work with an animal. You know, what animal is this? It's some animal in the water. Is it a shark? Is it a dolphin? I'm not sure. But the fact that this little mermaid or this little person is trying to, you know, tame and an animal so much bigger than herself that requires a certain level of um, confidence, that requires a certain level of, you know, self-control. And that also requires being in tune with this animal so that this animal goes according to her guidance, you know. So that's very symbolic of us needing to control our lower selves, for us needing to make sure that our negative thoughts, our, our emotions are not throwing us to and fro, and that we are in control of ourselves and that we are operating in our, in our higher self, okay. But definitely healing, renewed confidence, renewed discipline, um, being focused on creating abundance and stability for ourselves in the long term. Once again, that I feel like this strongly coincides with this growing success. Okay, being excited, staying on the path, improvement, generosity. So strong energy there, and with the go for it fearlessly card from Archangel Michael, this is about once again confidence and courage. I didn't even read this before going in the direction of your true life purpose of what really resonates with you what you intuitively feel is right for you um going in the direction of love whether that's romantic or self-love or just going along a path that makes you feel like you are in alignment being in alignment uh the first card that came out to clarify this was the reverse nine of wands also this broken heart card is a nine do we have any other nines over here yes we do so we have nine 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 that talks about releasing things that no longer serve okay um, it also talks about, once again, preparing for a new phase, completion. Nines talk about completion, maturity, mastery. So there's something in our life, in our lives that we are mastering and that we're leaving behind so that we can step forward into something new. Once again, going back to this judgment, truth card, a resurrection, a rebirth. Okay, so acknowledging the past, acknowledging the truth, acknowledging our shadow and all of the things that we need to acknowledge so that we can move forward a more evolved, balanced being. Okay. But, you know, in order to do that, we may have to break ties with certain situations or people. And, you know, we may have to overcome certain disappointments. Even if these are just past disappointments, we have to face them. We have to acknowledge them and release them. So, uh, with the reverse nine of wands here, we'll go for it fearlessly. Um, this is kind of funny to me. But the reverse nine of wands, it can talk about a certain level of stubbornness, you know, or just being tired, you know, being weary. You know, not feeling like maybe you just don't have the energy to do whatever it is that you're trying to do. But we go for it fearlessly as saying to push past that, okay? Um, one, one thing that you should be stubborn about is moving forward and progressing. That's the one thing that you should be stubborn about is forward movement and progression. But um, if this is talking about feeling like you just want to give up, if this is talking about feeling like you're fatigued, like you're tired, like you just don't have it in you, then you have the Archangel Michael go for it fearlessly just saying keep going, keep pushing, keep trying to... To propel yourself forward don't let the 
um, what's going on in society. Don't let it weigh down your, your energy. Try to really control um, your trajectory, your thoughts, your emotions. The only thing that we can really control is ourselves. And so you really want to be able to control what you think, how you feel, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, and taking those baby steps so that in the long term, in the long run, you're exactly where you want to be. Further clarifying is these two cards came out together. <laughs> Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups. Fortunately, these cards are wonderful in the upright. I really like this. So, uh, this is more Scorpio energy. So, maybe some of us, we're just either dealing with Scorpionic energy, just with the events and the situations that we're dealing with. Like I said, with the Truth Judgment card, that's Pluto. Um, Pluto governs Scorpio. So, this could just be, once again, stating that we're dealing with Scorpionic energy as a collective. But maybe on an individual level, you'll be dealing with some Scorpios. Totally possible. But more than anything, with this um, clarifying the Go Forward Fearlessly card, this is talking about the King of Cups when he is in the upright. He's usually somebody who's mature, okay? But he's also somebody who he's in tune with his emotions, but he's not overly controlled by his emotions. He's not going to act out um, irrationally or in an emotionally impulsive way. He's in tune with his emotion and his intuition and maybe even his spirituality, but he also is in tune with his logic, his common sense, his reasoning. So it's a good balance of both. Okay, so this is a really good energy. Once again, being spiritually and intuitively in tune with yourself moving forward, even if your energy is low, realizing that you do have the emotional strength, the emotional wherewithal, and the emotional and intuitive intelligence to move forward. And if you do, if you follow this King of Cups energy of being balanced between logic and emotion, um, being in tune with your intuitive side, your spiritual side, once again, the wheel turns for you. You just got to keep going, okay? Um, this is more, uh, this is Jupiter energy also. Um, I said in the astrology transit reading or the interpretation of the transits, I said that, I can't remember what day I said, but Jupiter goes direct in September. It's been retrograde for a good minute, but that Jupiter energy is is going direct just in time for us to be able to deal with the harder astrological transit so with this being governed by jupiter um jupiter brings expansion it brings opportunities it brings blessings it brings spiritual benevolence and protection and guidance okay so um it also brings wisdom so once again the king of cups when he's mature he has a lot of spiritual and emotional wisdom strength and um He's able to control his emotions, able to control his actions and act from his higher self. So really stepping into that energy of act, of acting out of your higher self and not out of fear, not out of desperation, but really being in alignment with yourself. Um, I do feel like this is more spiritual, cosmic protection that's coming as this will turns. As long as we are trying to keep ourselves in a line, we could be definitely surprised by, you know, how things end up flowing for us pretty good. You know, as long as we are doing our self-work, we'll be surprised what doors actually open for us. It's just about being in the right energy so that those so that those blessings or those opportunities or that expansion or that abundance can really come through for you. You just have to really be um, emotionally and intuitively strong to get through it and to keep yourself going if you're feeling, you know, like you're ready to tap out. Let me see what else do I get from this. I like seeing the Wheel of Fortune um, in the upright. Sometimes it doesn't necessarily mean. So basically it's like if you do what you're supposed to do, the Wheel of Fortune will benefit you. If you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, then the Wheel of Fortune, whether it's in the upright or the reverse, it can signify some difficulties you know, that you may experience because you haven't been doing what you're supposed to be doing. But if your energy is in alignment and if you're acting out of your higher self, things can really work out wonderfully for you in ways that you couldn't foresee before. Okay. Um, what else? Mm -hmm. Also, once again, the king, the king of Cups is Scorpio energy. The Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter energy. That's an expansion of um, the good qualities of Scorpio. So if you are interested in esoteric sciences, occult, if you are interested in, you know, psychology, if you are interested in helping yourself or others to you know emotionally navigate life if you're someone who wants to be a spiritual guide a guidance um, a spiritual guide for others um, a healer or something like that this is a really good time to tap into that energy and focus on moving towards that you know so if you want to be a spiritual healer a spiritual healer a reader something as far as 
um, spirituality being a guide for others in whatever way. Um, it's a really good time to focus on that and to get yourself emotionally and energetically ready to step into that role moving forward. Okay. Um, let me see. So once more, I don't know if I'm going to clarify these cards. I might. We have 30 minutes. So enjoy the journey. The fun is getting there. Acknowledge your progress. Mental vacation. Be spontaneous. Most of us cannot travel, but if you can, if that's something that you feel called to do, then do it. Um, I know everywhere isn't still quarantine, but yeah, enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, daily habits, self-care, morning, evening, success, routines, making healthy choices, um, subliminals, okay, so I'm in a subliminal phase right now, I'm actually going to start posting subliminals on my channel because I feel like they are really, really helpful, um, I'll probably do another video on subliminals and why I'll be adding them to the channel anyway, but honestly, refine your daily routine you know do things that nourish you that take care of you and do things that are adding to or helping you to get to where you want to be in the long term it starts with baby steps okay so adjust your routine accordingly well you know affirmations saving what, whatever that is for you do it it's a really good time for that and once again getting yourself in alignment growing success abundance generosity be excited stay on path improvement Manifesting affluence. I hope I said that right. Um, I don't even want to say that. But this growing success, it coincides with that Jupiter going direct. It coincides with, I think the sun is going to try in Jupiter, I believe, in September. And then this little fortune will rule by Jupiter. That's all about abundance. That's all about being excited, being optimistic, being generous, receiving or benefiting from others' generosity or cosmic generosity. So it's really just about keeping yourself in alignment whatever whatever truths may surface just realize that it's a part of your path to use those to propel you forward and so that you are no longer viewing things in an unrealistic way okay whatever truths surface whether those are personal whether those are collective truths like you know maybe some things coming forth about you know authority or political figures or the government it's just a, it that information is coming out to help you spiritually okay um these truths could have come out at any other time, but they're coming out right now for a specific reason. And even though, even if it's, you know, truths that are coming out on a collective level, it still has a spiritual significance for you because you chose to be here and incarnate during this time. So whatever truths or secrets are uncovered, realize that it's to help you move forward with more wisdom, with more resilience, so that you can see things clearly, so that you're not making decisions based off of illusions or deceptions, either internal or external. So, let me see if I want to, maybe I'll clarify one of these. No, I don't feel like these need to be clarified, actually. And I feel like this video isn't long enough. Um, let me see, I said I was going to read what this particular card meant. I have enough time to do that. Okay, so this is what I'm reading from the actual. Doors are opening, you decide. Rewards, wild card. Doors are opening for you. Your thoughts are extra powerful for you right now. Planets are aligning. The timing is right. The universe is saying yes. You have the Midas touch. Your hard work is being rewarded. This is a time where you can reap the rewards for the efforts you've made in the past. It's also a time when you can achieve a lot. Great leaps can be made. Extreme transformation can occur. Great distances can be traveled in a short space of time. You're swimming with the cosmic current of life. What experience would you like to have? What do you want to create? What new adventure would you like to manifest? Don't lose focus. Use this moment in time wisely. Be conscious and clear with your emotions and thinking. Projects that you've been working on are coming to fruition. Things are in full bloom. It's time to take your harvest and taste your well-earned fruits. When this card comes up in a spread, it's a sure sign that effortless change is possible. If you've been looking for a sign, this is your portal into that new reality. Now is the time to make big changes. If you've been guided to switch things up, you're extremely well supported right now. Use this energy and jump right on in. So basically what I was saying, um, extreme transformation, there's a lot of Pluto energy here. Pluto, Scorpio brings transformation whether you like it or not. Okay, and we have three Scorpio cards here in conjunction with the um, 
the black moon lilith lilith does not play that lilith energy is real all right um let me see is there anything else that i want to read uh sure i'll do the heart card and we should be pretty good i may do the lilith card too okay so the broken heart reverse meet marks a time of renewal and hope the pain and trauma are behind you now and you can trust that greater joy is on the way whatever has happened to hurt you in the past you are now free to move on the universe has much better things in store for you so finish letting go of any residual grief and open your life to your new self-loving intention joyous connections will follow so the affirmation is i release the pain of the past and live with compassion for myself love heals and renews me now and the last thing i'm going to read is this black moon lilith mystery card Sick. i'm not gonna read all this um mm -mm, lilith is the ancient goddess of mystery and transformation she represents soul expansion, cosmological awareness, the force in alone in aloneness, and the path of the individual. As a shift in power and consciousness, she symbolizes destruction before creation. Once again, she's she's the feminine version of Pluto. Um, let me see. Dun, dun, dun. She represents the powers we hold in secret. When this card comes up during a reading, something lurks. Lilith appears as the dark part of the act. Of the astrological chart she is our shadow side um the dark face of the moon where mysteries and unexplained occurrences lie in wait um this card indicates a call to wildness even subversion lilith is the evocation of what may or may not be there she can manifest as madness or self-realization she represents a refusal to submit so it is not a good time to give in even when the path seems like a rough one which is what i was saying with that reverse nine of wands um with this card there may be a tendency to isolate and focus on feelings of revenge try to avoid that once again you want to keep your energy up you want to act out of your higher self so that you can actually get the benefits that jupiter and pluto are trying to bring um let me see lilith is a subdued power and a complicated magnetism she's awake while the rest of the world is asleep she is the dark thoughts that enter our consciousness just before we fall asleep she suggests female rebellion she can represent an angry feminine energy such as a mother, an enemy, or an embittered woman. Um, you have the feeling you're waiting for something to happen, but you don't have the entire information. So the facts are hidden or mysterious. Something lurks and you feel it. But Lilith is sharp. She knows. She senses. She processes what is there because she's a primal energy. Um, because Lilith feels slighted, she can represent a formidable foe or a dangerous enemy. Once again, like I said, just pay attention to leaders. Pay attention to um, people that are in the public eye. Pay attention to, you know, maybe if these energies resonate to people that are around you. Just beware. Keep your antennas up if you get a weird feeling about someone. Pay attention to it. Um, and also, through Lilith, we discover creativity and the beauty that can exist in the darkness as long as we keep our own demons and our shadow side in check and under our rules so once again nurturing yourself keeping yourself in high vibrations controlling your lower nature okay getting out of your comfort zone embracing the change going through the portal okay acknowledging our shadow releasing our shadow releasing past hurts um acknowledging whatever truths may come for the entire collective through the media through the government through political figures just taking it all in stride and not letting it weigh you down so much that you don't want to move forward so just keep going okay so i hope that this has been a good reading for you this reading is good for all of september so you can literally come back and watch it if it doesn't resonate now maybe it'll resonate later um once again this video and the video that i did before on the astrology is good for all of september so some of it may even bleed into next month just because energy is fluid but other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Um, overall, this is a lot of good energy. The only um, thing is that the, the the transformation, as usual, could be a little bit uncomfortable. But if you go with the flow, it doesn't have to be that bad. Okay. So once again, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video sooner rather than later. And mwah, bye.